Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from Texo. In today's video, I'll show you how to use the delay in a workflow. The delay function lets you pause the workflow before moving on to the next step. You can set this pause in seconds, minutes, hours, or even days. Let's see how it works. But first, let's understand it in more detail. The delay function pauses the workflow for a set amount of time, which can be helpful when you need to wait for certain actions to be completed, like connection requests or any other actions to complete before proceeding with the next step of your workflow. In today's scenario, I have set up a sample workflow. In this case, I have exported some profiles, scraped them, and then I have sent them an auto connect request. So after I have sent a connection to request to these profiles, I might want to give those people some time to accept my connection request. So this is exactly what I'm going to do with the delay function. I click here on the plus button and I choose operation and then I choose delay. I double click on the delay node to configure it. And here I have several different options. Under delay value, I can write how much time I want to delay. For example, one, two, five. In this case, I will set it up as seven. And I can choose the delay unit. In this case, I want to give them seven days, but I can also um, choose seconds, minutes or hours, depending on what type of delay I want to set up and what is the purpose of my workflow. This delay is going to give me the opportunity to wait for a certain amount where the workflow is still working, but there is no active action taking place in the background. After that delay, for example, I want to check again if this connection is if this person has connected with me. So as the next step, perhaps I could add um, is I can check if they're connected. And that is a good example of the use of delay in a workflow. The delay function is crucial for uh, managing the timing in your workflows, making sure that there is enough space between your steps for actions that need uh, time to be fully executed. And I think that's it. Using the delay in your workflows with Texo helps you effectively space out your automations. Try it out and see how it can streamline your processes. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.